So over the past few weeks, I have received quite a few messages in regards to the tripod that I've been using recently. And based off of the way that many of these messages have been positioned, it's led me to believe that there's quite a few folks out there, myself included, that are not 100% familiar with this brand of tripod. Now, I was familiar, or I wasn't familiar, but I've heard of the brand Photo Pro before, but I wasn't 100% certain exactly to really what they specialized in. I knew it had something to do with photography, of course, but that was really the extent of my knowledge as to who they actually were. So to set the stage briefly and kind of rewind the clock a month or so ago, the folks over at Photo Pro had reached out to me with an invitation. And this invitation was to join their global elite photographers team. And based off of that name alone, I was completely shocked and, and honored, quite frankly, to be, even be invited to such an organization. And on top of that, they informed me that all members of this team get to select the tripod of their choosing from Photo Pro's Global Elite Photographer's tripod lineup. So it's an entire series as well. And on top of that, they were even going to stamp my logo or my, uh, my signature on the ball head and the tripod. So between the invitation, the tripod, and the fact that we were going to customize it for myself, I was completely shocked. I was blown away, humbled, flattered. I, it, it was a really, really big honor for myself. And I wanted to do some additional research to see what other photographers were a part of this Global Elite Photographers team. And upon my additional research, I could not believe some of the world-class outdoor and landscape photographers that were part of this organization. It was a really big honor to think that my name could potentially even be mentioned alongside some of these photographers. So it was a really big deal for me. And I spent the next few days researching, trying to figure out exactly which tripod and ball head configuration I wanted to go with. There's three setups with this a global elite photographer tripod lineup, kind of like a small version, a medium version, and a large version. And I ended up going with the, the largest, most robust, beefiest version of them all, which is the TL84C carbon fiber tripod with the LG9R ball head, which is quite the mouthful. But I've really enjoyed using this tripod over the course of the last uh, month or so. And uh, this isn't a sponsored video or anything like that. Uh, actually, Photo Pro doesn't even know I'm even making this video right now. Nor do I think this is even the perfect tripod. I don't think the perfect tripod even exists out there. But there are quite a few very unique attributes or characteristics with this tripod that I have never before seen in any other tripod ever. Doesn't mean it hasn't existed before. I've just never seen one before myself personally. And there are a couple of things that I wish were a little bit different as well. And, and in this video, I want to kind of go over those things, what I love about it, what I don't love about it, in hopes that anyone out there that is looking to purchase a kind of higher end tripod, that this might uh, help you with some additional information that you can apply to your purchasing decision moving forward. So to jump right into it, as far as the things that I love about it. So whenever I travel, I always put my tripod on the side of my bag. And the issue that I have is almost always the ball head extends above the bag itself. And whenever you're, especially when you're flying, putting your bag in the overhead compartment when, you're when your ball head is sticking out so much farther than your actual bag itself can cause some issues sometimes. And I always take my ball head off. And this is the ball head I've been using for years. This is the BH40 ball head from Really Right Stuff, which is absolutely fantastic but it just screws onto the top of the tripod. So whenever I want to remove it, I just got to sit there and unscrew it and, put, and take it off. And when I put it, put it back on, I'm just going to screw it back on. So it's, it doesn't take a lot of additional time, but it does take a little bit of uh, extra time to do that every time. But with this tripod, there's this really cool setup here where you basically just flip this little lever up and then you push this little switch in and it comes completely out. And if you want to put it back on, put it right there push this down and it's completely locked into place. And I think that is absolutely fantastic. Especially like if you're if you're hiking to your location, especially if you're in a woodland area, how many times have branches or sticks or stuff kind of get got caught on your ball head while you were walking. So I always want to take my ball head off until I actually get to location. I just put the ball head in the actual bag itself. But I just think it is so cool to just slide that up, push that in and take it right off. And it goes in just so easy. So that kind of quick release setup, I think is absolutely fantastic and something that's very unique. I've never quite seen that before. Now, something else that I think is a, a nice added feature here are these feet. So as you can tell, it's got the rubber feet on there right now. And I, these are the type of feet I probably use most often are the rubber feet. But what's cool is you can actually take these off and it'll reveal the spikes. So you always have two different types of feet on. You always have the rubber feet or the spikes on. So if you don't need the spikes, you can just put the rubber feet back on as well. 
and I think that is really cool. I've never seen that before either. My Really Right Stuff tripod, you can actually change the feet out, but you can only have one type of foot on. So whenever I would go on location, I wasn't 100% certain as to the type of terrain I was gonna be uh, shooting on. I would end up having to bring all the different feet configuration, and then when I get on location, I'd have to screw off of what screw off whatever type of foot I have on there, and then put on the spikes or or these types of kind of like metal claw feet. These are the Photo Pro ones, which are really nice because it actually has the logo right on the side, so very nice touch there as well. But you can always have either the spikes on and the, the rubber feet, or you could take both of these off and then put the, these type on as well. But you can always have at least two on. And I think that's really cool. I leave it in this kind of configuration most of the time. And I just think that's just a, a really cool, just kind of simple, ingenious little um, added feature, I suppose. And then the other thing I think is great is I'm not a, a twist lock guy. I'm a, a lever release guy. So this is what I've been using for, for quite a while. And I like lever releases, mainly because they inspire confidence in myself. So basically, you can easily tell that this is closed and locked. And you can easily tell that this is open and um, uh, unlocked. And there's no in-between. You, uh, you don't really have it halfway open or halfway closed. It's either fully open or it's fully closed. And it takes all the guesswork out. And my gripe with these types is because you can't really tell, like if I look over and look at my camera sitting on this type of a, uh, a ball head with this type of um, release on there, I can't tell if it's fully open, fully closed, half and half. It's just because it just spins. It doesn't, you, you really just, to me, it doesn't inspire a lot of confidence. And it always used to make me worry that I didn't have it completely open or completely closed and maybe my, my camera was gonna fall off the top of it. But what's cool, this one actually has this little button right here on the top. And if you push it completely in, it's kind of like an unlock feature. So you, to, to completely open it, you actually it'll stop right there. And then you have to push it in to unlock it the rest of the way. So that inspires a little bit of additional confidence. So you could put your camera in, and then if you want to remove it, you can't completely re remove it. It stops it right there. And you got to push that in. And then you can go ahead and unscrew it the rest of the way. So I think that's a nice little added touch right there. A little bit of additional peace of mind so I, I definitely can appreciate that i don't pay a whole lot of attention to these types of locks out there so maybe tons of different screw locks uh, or twist locks have these types of uh, kind of um, unlock feature buttons on there but this is the first one i've ever actually used before and then there's the overall build quality this thing feels like it could stop a tank in its tracks it's plenty tall i'm six feet two and when this is fully extended, I think the top of this ball head comes up to my eyes. So it's a, a very tall tripod, very solid. The craftsmanship is top notch and the attention to detail is really amazing. You know, like all these screws, every one of these screws actually says, has engraved on them Photo Pro. So those are just really small little details that just kind of exude that um, additional, I guess, good craftsmanship. And like I mentioned a moment ago, these feet actually have the Photo Pro logo on all of them as well. So. Just all those types of little kind of tiny details I think are absolutely fantastic. Now, as far as some of the things that, um, oh, wanted to mention this too, these little, the little hook right here. So if you're in a really windy environment, you need to kind of anchor your, your tripod down. You can, it's got a hook right there, but it also can easily be removed as well if you don't need that. Now, as far as the things that I wish were a little bit different, probably one of the, the, the biggest things are these, um, the legs are not self ratcheting. So basically, you know, if you want to tripod to be a little bit lower, you just kind of pull this out like that. And then you can just open it all the way out and it does that on all the legs. But when you want to close it, it doesn't automatically ratchet down up there. So you actually have to kind of push it down into each place, into each configuration, which it's not that big of a deal, but it would be nice if it kind of click automatically clicked and self ratcheted down. But it's kind of a nice to have. I've, I, it really hasn't caused any real issues for me, but sometimes I forget that it's not self ratcheting and I have to go ahead and push it in like that. So not that big of a deal. And then the other thing is, is I do wish it did come in a lever lever release option like this, uh, this uh, BH40 ball head. I don't know if it's just because I've been using this for so long and I am so used to a lever release. Maybe after I use this for a while, I'll become more accustomed to this, but as it stands right now, I definitely prefer a lever release. So maybe one day these will come in that type of configuration, but this is a very good uh, option for a twist release as well. So those are the things that I, I, I love about the tripod. Those are some of the things that I wish were a little bit different about it. But overall, I have really enjoyed using this for the last uh, month or so. And like I mentioned earlier, I hope that if, uh, if you're looking to purchase a higher end tripod, I think this one is almost 
$1,300, which is right in line with it with the higher end tripods out there today. Definitely not a cheap tripod, but if you are on the market for a higher end one, I hope this uh, provided you with some uh, helpful information to, uh, with, to help with your uh, potential buying decision. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I guarantee we will get back in touch with you. And if you enjoyed the video, if you could give it a thumbs up and ring the bell notification just so uh, you're notified the next time I do upload. And if you're not subscribed already, if you could subscribe to the channel, it would be greatly appreciated by myself. And as always, I really do appreciate you watching this week's video. And I will see you all next Wednesday. Bye.